Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So as you guys know, I'm currently in the beautiful, the amazing Turks and Caicos. I had somebody request for me to do a what I eat while I'm in Turks and Caicos, kind of like a what I eat in a day or in a week Caribbean style. So I thought that would be a lot of fun to film for you guys. So basically everything you guys are gonna see in this video is gonna be Caribbean style plates, showing you guys like the most authentic or at least as authentic as I can get. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thumbs up if you want more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next clip. First taste test, it's wrapped in, it looks like plantain, but they said banana. A little bit of rice. It tastes like, hopefully this isn't an insult. It just tastes like really, like soft chicken. Flavored really nice. Is it seafood? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. You can try it. I know you don't eat seafood, but it doesn't taste like fish. But it's so good. Likely story. It has some mushroom on top. I hate mushrooms also, do you not know me? Mushrooms don't even taste like anything. They have a rubbery texture, it's terrible. Well, I'm impressed. Very delicious. Would eat this again. Mm, Jasmine seems to have devoured an entire berry margarita thing. <laughs> we had a conversation with Joel, the chef, and he came out and explained how this meal is prepared. To get the fish, which is called... Grubal? Did you just say grouper? Rupert. That was cool. Rupert. And um, it tastes so similar to chicken. Like, it tastes like fish, but without the fishy texture and taste. And but like, it had the smell of fish, right? Smell. Yeah. It's very, very soft. It's very well cooked. There's no um, bones that are going to get in your teeth at all. Like, it's just very clean. Prepped really nice. They put mushrooms on top, and he basically said that they put a teriyaki sauce on it and they vacuum seal it essentially. Like they just seal it up really tight and let it marinate for a while. And then they season it with it looks like cilantro and mushrooms, probably some salt and pepper. Yes, yeah, so they wrap it in the banana leaf, holds all the flavor in, and lets it cook in the oven for probably 20 30 minutes. And then you get this wonderful delicacy with some white rice. I'm impressed. I'm very proud at my first Caribbean meal that is not Puerto Rican because I have Caribbean and Puerto Rican food all the time, but... I would eat this. Oh, you would eat this? I would eat that. Like, I wouldn't, like, go out of my way to order it, but I would eat it. If Nikki says that, guys, and I hate seafood. Nikki does not like seafood, and she was like, if I hate this, I will never talk to you again. I was like, that's fine. Try it. Very impressed. Okay, guys, I don't know how good the lighting is right now but finally got some lunch this is now the second meal that I'm showing you guys and I actually don't know how Caribbean this technically is but I feel like I'm Puerto Rican and not everything we ate was fish as Nikki was it because she was like oh I mean I don't know if beef is really Caribbean I'm like that's fair but I did opt for beef but it does remind me of a Caribbean style meal so it is beef fajita wraps beef fajita wraps and it's literally exactly as it sounds it's got some beef got some bell pepper i don't want to make a mess caramelized onions honey bacon and spicy mayonnaise oh wow that's spicy <laughs> and then it has fries on the side we're gonna take the first bite see how it is i like how they diced it a little piece that is so good. Definitely has a kick to it. Some spice from the spicy mayo, but it's not overwhelming at all. The beef is cooked really nice. Like it's very soft, easy to chew, and the fajitas are cooked to perfection too. It's like so flavorful. I'm a fan. I'm definitely gonna devour this whole thing right now, so allow me. We've got the third Caribbean meal so far. I'm sort of starting to run low on my Caribbean options, at least at this hotel, because it is a very Americanized hotel. They only have a few options. Nikki got some green curry, but that's not the focus because it's not Caribbean whatsoever. But mine is the shrimp linguine or tortellini. They said it was it was the most Caribbean that I could get after the dinner that I had yesterday. Got some cherry tomatoes that are halved and cooked with some, I think that's parsley, and then some noodles which look pretty good. I will say this doesn't, I mean, it has like no sauce. It looks like it's just in butter and the seasoning is what's supposed to make it good, so. It's definitely just butter <laughs> and seasoning. It's good, like it's not bad at all. And it feels like very light. It wouldn't feel like crap after I finish this. But I'm gonna try shrimp with it. I'm impressed. 
I mean, it's good. I'm not like blown away by it. I feel like this is something I could order back home, but I could taste the Parmesan cheese. Oh. <laughs> that is all that matters. All right, cut the video. <laughs> cut it in. Oh my God. Fucking hate Caribbean food. Are you recording this? Oh my God, Nikki, turn this off. Turn this all right, while we wait for our food, I don't know how Caribbean this is, but we do have some chips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is now meal four that I'll be showing you guys. I'll probably only show you one more after this, and then I'll see if you guys want another video like this, because it's been a lot of fun to film. But I got some Caribbean-style jerk chicken. So it is grilled chicken with some black beans and corn, kind of like a salsa mix, and then some platanos. Um, but these are the fried kind, not the sweet kind. <gasps> my kitty friend's back. Hi, kitty friend. Oh my god, so cute. I want to feed him something. I'll give you a little piece of chicken. Dude, that was such a max move. <laughs> he was like, mm, to sip and be like, I'm good. Are you just here for company? Oh my god. He's like, I'm looking for something else better. He's so cute. Sorry, so I definitely just got distracted by that cat because it's so cute. But yeah, so it's plantain and then normally in Puerto Rico, because um, I am Puerto Rican, I eat a lot of Caribbean food. And like Puerto Rican style is to do a mixture of ketchup and mayonnaise and then I believe we added a little bit of salt. I don't know. That's just the way that I remember doing it and the girl here was like, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. But, but here they just gave me spicy mayo, which I guess will be close enough. I don't know. I might just ask for regular ketchup. But look at how good this looks. And of course we got What would you put ketchup American on? Thing. Oh, on the plantains, because they're very dry on their own, so it's really nice to add that. And then Nikki got some amazing freaking tacos that like melt in your mouth when you're eating it. Mm. Not spicy at all. It feels very lean. Like I wouldn't feel like crappy after eating this. It's very light. It's not spicy at all. And the beans and corn salsa type of mix on the side is really good. In my experience, jerk chicken has always been pretty spicy, but maybe Caribbean style is not. I don't know. No, but jerk chicken is just a Caribbean dish. I don't know. They didn't make it spicy here. Maybe it's a bit more Americanized. I don't know. I like it. All right, guys. So Nikki and I just got back from a freaking marvelous. Ma what's what you doing back there? <laughs> Nikki and I just got back from an amazing spa session. We got like a scrub and like a, an amazing 50 minute massage and it was just so magical the whole time. We're still wearing our robes. My battery is actually dying now, but I figured this would be a great place to close off this video because tomorrow the adventures will really begin where we're gonna do some snorkeling, go to an iguana island, like it's gonna be a really good time. So I'm hoping to buy a GoPro and the next video will be more adventure themed. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day to stay slim, maybe, because I feel like a lot of the stuff that I ate ended up being really quite healthy. It was also interesting eating Caribbean food that is not Puerto Rican, because that's like, you know, that's that's where I'm from. So it was nice to like try stuff outside of the box of, of that world. I don't know, I've just been really impressed. It's been an amazing experience. And yeah, if you guys want to see more travel videos, especially like me trying out the foods that are native to the island or whatever country I'm visiting, um, let me know and also leave down your recommendations if you've ever been to Turks and Caicos. I'm also so bitter, please don't judge me, it's really sad. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to throw a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. And stay sexy, San Diego. I love you guys a lot. And besitos. Mm. Bye. <laughs>